what's going on up there doesn't scare you. You're not paying attention. Are we going to sit here and say nothing and do nothing? I know it's polluting the bay. It's killing the animals, sea mammals. It's killing you. Your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your mother. I mean, they're all going to have problems with their hearts, the respiratory system. <coughs> you gag, you cough. This should be a nice, clean day. But the stuff is coming down to infest us and infect us. Senility, that poison, that toxin that hits you every day, every hour. And it's going on, there's a war against the planet Earth. It's going on up there, it's an aerosol, a toxic dump. There's a toxic fog. No, it's not a scary movie, it's scary. It scares the organization. Santa Cruz, alert, response, emergency. It's a damn emergency. And get ready for scare two. It's coming. Oh, can you get copies? Make copies. Give them away. I don't care what you do with them, except use them. See, a tool is useless unless you use it. A movie is a tool. It manufactures something in the mind that changes. There's a synapse happening and, oh, the chemical, uh, sulfur hexafluoride. It changes something in the synapse. I don't know exactly how it works in the brain, but they know. These are the Dr. Frankensteins of the world. Strontium. Strontium is what they use in neuroscience. Oh, you well, there's, there's strontium. Uh, Marshall says strontium. It places yes. calcium in your neurotransmitters so you're easier to manipulate. produced a very disturbing picture. You've disturbed me greatly. I mean, I watch these films at 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm concerned as hell that uh, you may be on to what this Illuminati is trying to, well, you may be on to the biggest crime in the century, in the two centuries, in the history of the world against humanity itself. Am I overreacting when I take a look up there day after day after day in, in Santa Cruz and I hear about it in Santa Barbara? I see it off of Catalina Island with some sort of rocket going up and people saying, oh, it's nothing to worry about. And I hear the planes going overhead, my God, maybe they're dropping, they're doing another dump on us. Uh, and it, it's really uh, death dumps on a daily basis. Maybe not happening instantaneously, but what is your, you, am I going too far? Anthony, I don't think you're going too far at all. I think that uh, the way you've described it is uh, in terms of the greatest crime of all history, the greatest crime of all history, crime against humanity, crime against humanity, crime against humanity. I don't think that's too strong a statement at all. And the reason it's I think a very uh, a rational statement is that we know that they are spraying something toxic on us. It's no longer any question. We know that they are spraying something toxic on us. It's no longer any question. They always say, well, it's just water vapor, of course, but we now know it's not just water vapor. And we know that it's very toxic. It's, uh, it's affecting human health. It's uh, affecting plant life, wildlife. And it could damage the ecosystem and the human race for centuries. And it could damage the ecosystem and the human race for centuries, if not forever. Some of these genetic changes that may come about in these things could be irreversible, we don't know. It could be irreversible, we don't know. Well, it could kill the, the, the sea mammals, the sea otters and the seals, the porpoises, the whales. It could kill the fish. It's, it's poisoning the water. It's 
dropping the trees and making them non-functional. I mean, they're dying everywhere. And it's happening at a very rapid speed. Or am I, again, you know, I, I can exaggerate at times, you know. Well, no, I don't think you're exaggerating. And that's the reason we produced this uh, documentary, is because it's so far removed from what most people think is reality. It's shocking to discover. It's shocking to discover. It's shocking to discover.